Hi, I'm Andrew Wall with Sandler Training Milton. As a business growth catalyst, I'm often asked, Andrew, how do we achieve our desired price from our prospects? Well, that's a great question. And normally when salespeople or sales management are asking me about that question, they're also sharing problems such as, the prospects are telling them the price is too high. Others are asking, well, what's the discount that I'm going to receive if we do business? Or they say things like, this looks great, but not this quarter, or maybe next year. And for those more complex, sophisticated deals, they might say, you know what, this is just not in our budget process. These are frustrating excuses for you to hear from your prospect. So you have to have strategies to avoid it. And I ask you, are you having these problems because you're uncomfortable asking budget questions? Do you think it's impolite to ask a prospect whether they have money available and whether they're willing to share it with you? Well, if you want to be successful in sales, you need to overcome those challenges. And to give you some ideas on how you could succeed at that, let me share this with you. The only time that it's appropriate to even start discussing the prospect's budget and financial parameters is after they've told you what are their personal, emotional reasons for changing? Either not doing the status quo or replacing the incumbent and working with you. And have they told you what will it cost their organization if they don't make these changes? Once you've learned that, then it's time to transition into the investment step. There's three areas you need to be discussing. One is time. By time, I mean if you need two, three, four meetings face to face, are they willing to do that? Or at some point, do they just ask for an email quote? Energy. If they decide to work with you, are they willing to make sure that the required people and resources are shared with you so that you can actually implement your solution within the previously described period of time? And then, what are the finances? Do they have a budget in place? What were they hoping to invest? And this is a time, where, as a sales professional, you need to use the rule of three plus. It'll probably take you three or more questions to get to the heart of these issues and get the truth. Well, if you found this sales tip helpful for you today, then I encourage you, visit our website at wall.sandler.com. We have more free resources for salespeople and sales management personnel. Or if you're curious about how we help sales professionals overcome these budget problems, be happy to have you attend a session as our guest. Give me a call, 905-864-9915, extension 101. Have a profitable day.